exciting update today because we can now take our photos and actually animate them and turn them into talking photos. Sorry, boss, I can't work today. <laughs> My arm is in a cast. But if you want this hoodie, there's a buy one, get one free sale today. You've got two lives left and I'm about to take both of them. Come at me, tiny arms. You are no match for millions of years of feline evolution. My ancestors prepared me for this moment. I'm gonna show you several use cases, different ways that this might be useful for you and how to actually monetize this new feature. And I say that it's new because this used to be a lot more expensive to try and generate from photo to video, but I'm gonna show you today step-by-step step, the new option of actually generating for the same price that you get with Veo3 Fast, but we can actually include photos as the first frame, whether those are AI photos, or even real photos that you've taken on your phone. I'm also gonna give you all of these prompts for free, so if you're interested in these prompts, they're gonna be inside of a Google Doc. Obviously modify them and use them however you like. This one is purely entertainment. This is an AI-generated image um, that we made in ChatGPT in another video, and I just took that image and basically gave it this prompt where it's a cat vlogging, running from the dinosaur, and he says, come at me, and he has this dialogue. Fairly simple, I was just kind of testing out the feature, but you can see how this could be a way to just monetize your views and get some entertaining content based off of images that you've generated from somewhere else. So I'm also gonna show you how I generated some of these inside of my designs. My designs lets you use uh, Context Pro. Context Pro is a model that is super good at getting your products to display accurately within different contextual situations. So if you say, I need this person wearing this hoodie on a lake, it will actually, most of the time, get the text correct, get the design correct. Here's one where these cats are, again, an AI-generated image from ChatGPT, and uh, we have them basically at a poker table. You've got two lives left, and I'm about to take both of them. And with this one, I went super simple on the prompt, and I love how it turned out. All I said was cats playing poker, and they're arguing over who has the winning hand of cards. Okay, and here's an example where I was trying to generate, like, a kid's YouTube channel. Like, how many of you guys have seen, like, these big YouTube channels that are geared towards kids' shows? Well, what if we could simply generate our images inside of MidJourney or ChatGPT or Claude, and then we take those images and we animate them. So let's watch what this might look like. Can you tell me what color my friend is? That's right, he is pink. Yay, great job. Okay, so it really does kind of feel like those YouTube kids channels. And uh, this one didn't have captions at all. This one, um, you know, obviously was much better than the first one, I think. And this is an example for anyone that maybe is doing like affiliate marketing. Uh, basically, we did the same process with Context Pro where we generated a, a, basically a model holding the product. And then we took that image, we uploaded it as our first frame and gave it this simple prompt, which is woman on a beach holding a bag. And she says, I used to have anger management problems, but then I found Nello super calm. So if you're a TikTok affiliate, you probably know this is one of the top products. But this example is just one of the many ways that you're actually able to use the frames to video feature. Let me show you how these turned out. I used to have anger management problems, but then I found Nello super calm. That one's pretty good. Uh, even the product itself is relatively sharp, relatively clear compared to past video models. Um, and then here's this generation. I used to have anger management problems, but then I found Nello super calm. <laughs> that one's pretty good too yeah i wanted to throw in this example as well and of course this prompt will be available inside of the google doc as well as a few other tips and tricks that i've learned along the way uh, to generate videos like this if you want to see a full breakdown of how i actually created these with my designs let me know in the comments below but once I have the image from my designs or from ChatGPT or even just from my camera roll, you can come over here 
you can select frames to video and then it's going to pop up with this little upload button here where i'm actually able to upload the first frame now it's not going to let me upload two frames like the start and the end yet right now as the time of filming this it only works if you want to use veo3 fast and you want to do a frames to video right now they only let you upload the first frame so the first frame is going to be the image you upload and that's going to be where the video starts so for example let's do one with a blanket of course we did our product research and this one had over a thousand bought in the past month i know that because amazon literally tells us right underneath the reviews so this is one that we could maybe recreate and maybe in chat gpt make our own version of this design i have other videos on how to do this be sure to check those out and then my designs is fantastic at once again if you're using context pro you can go ahead and generate mock-ups with maybe a woman holding the blanket just like we did here. Because the video tool we're using today likes horizontal 16 by 9 videos, uh, Google Flow, VO3, you may want to actually turn your images into horizontal images. So right here in ChatGPT, you can simply give it this prompt extend the image to 16 by 9 horizontal but make sure the original image doesn't change and it should keep everything exactly like it is except just extend out the sides to actually make it a 16 by 9 horizontal all right that was a quick detour just in case you needed help there and let's get back to the blanket clicked on frames to video and then i clicked on the plus button to actually go ahead and upload a photo. Now it's asking us to crop this. So I'm gonna go ahead and crop this in to where it, it, you know, we can still obviously see most of the design. We don't necessarily want there to be a black boxes on the edges. So I'm gonna crop this to where it feels appropriate, like right here. And then once that's uploaded, we can go ahead and put in our prompt. So here's what the first frame is gonna look like. For the prompt, we could say something like, okay, so for this one, I'm just saying, a woman holding a blanket in the forest, she smiles and she says, my grandmother gave me this for Christmas. It's so beautiful, I'll cherish it forever. Then I have butterflies flying in the background, flowers on the ground, and then I think I'm also gonna say no captions. When I say no captions, it typically shouldn't put in captions. It's at least a lot more likely to not put in captions. Go ahead and send this one in. Remember to upload your first frame, your photo, and then hit send. Remember to do VO3 fast or you're gonna be spending a lot more in credits. Right now, we're only at 20 credits per video which is definitely affordable, definitely something that we can profit from if we monetize this content. But if we start getting into uh, the quality version, when it starts charging us 100 credits per generation, that's whenever things start getting a lot tougher and a lot less profitable. Okay, so I hit send. Now it's gonna go ahead and generate the frame to video. So this is really cool. It might not seem like a big deal, but there are actually some really unique use cases. You could have advertisements like Facebook ads, TikTok ads, YouTube ads. You could also just use this as organic content because right now AI videos are definitely kind of standing out in the algorithm. Here's an example of maybe if we were selling a hoodie that says, can't work today, my arm is in a cast. So we're obviously targeting fishermen and people who like to fish. So here's one example. Buy one, get one free on everything in the store during our big summer sale. All right, that one looks pretty bad. So let's look at the other option that we got here. Buy one, get one free on everything in the store during our big summer sale. Don't miss it. Yeah, that one was good. I don't I don't really have any complaints with that one. That one definitely works. I think the jumping fish in the background kind of helps to capture some attention as well, especially if you're someone who likes fishing. Uh, okay, this was another example that we have here. Sorry, boss, I can't work today. <laughs> My arm is in a cast. But if you want this hoodie, there's a buy one, get one free sale today. Okay, so it looks like our blanket videos are done. Let's see what these look like. My grandmother gave me this for Christmas. It's so beautiful. I'll cherish it forever. That's pretty good. It even has like butterflies that land on the blanket. Uh, some weird stuff starts to happen towards the end where her hands kind of become the butterflies in a way. Uh, but it doesn't really look bad. Like it almost looks like she squishes the butterfly. She like hits hits the blanket and she almost like squishes the butterfly. But anyway, isn't it kind of crazy that we started with a still image, just a plain image, and then 
were able to animate this in a way to where it actually looks like she's holding a blanket. Do you see how the gravity, like whenever she moves her hands, the blanket shifts, the wrinkles shift, the lighting changes. Then she folds up the blanket and it accurately shows how it would fold over her arms. So this is pretty crazy for print on demand sellers or for drop shippers or for anyone who's selling a physical product and they struggled with getting good mock-ups, good videos. That's just one use case for this, obviously. Like I said, this is gonna be great for maybe someone trying to create a specific themed channel with different characters or maybe like a kid's show type theme. Maybe it's uh, for entertainment purposes where you take your really funny images and you animate those funny images and make them into short films and little clips and memes and stuff like that. So I hope this is helpful for you. I hope you're getting some ideas from this. Again, you can do text to video, but I have entire tutorials on my channel on how to do text to video and how to actually create full vlog style videos and stuff like that. So you can go check out those videos. But frames to video is what I'm focused on today and it's all about uploading an image and then being able to get that image to, to talk really is what a lot of people are gonna be excited about is you can generate an ideal avatar and then you can have them in a situation anywhere, even impossible situations. Like we could generate these people on the moon. But the idea is that we're basically able to animate these avatars that we can create and these maybe match with our audience a little bit more. Okay, so there's obviously a lot of different directions we could take this. If you enjoyed this and you want to see more of how this works and how you could accomplish this, let me know in the comments below. I do have a free Facebook group where myself and other AI creators are brainstorming and talking about what's working and the newest tools and strategies. And I recommend joining that community because I'm sharing things there privately that I don't share on YouTube. So link for that's in the video description. And then if you need some help, if you're trying to get your strategy right, or if you're just stuck on something in particular, you can book a one-on-one -on -one call with me and we will go over everything that you need help with and go over your particular questions. So hope you have an amazing day. I hope you create something awesome and I'll see you in the next tutorial.